Hello everyone. So here I'm going to show you uh, AWS platform and I give you the introduction. If you are using first time, please watch this video. You will learn how to log in, how you can access your account, how to select the specific resources, specific regions, right? Okay, let's start. First of all, guys, uh, you have to open aws.amazon.com. You will find this screen right and in the top side you have a list of options where the option it's called my account right so if you already have credential you just go to the management console if you don't have then you have to click on aws or sign in to the console right if you click on sign into the console you have to provide all the informations uh, uh, then account details for the payment and all but if you have just click on this and you will be redirected with ID password. I already have it, so I already uh, it, it will redirect me to the uh, main console page, right? So, guys, this is the AWS Cloud Console. Here you can say AWS Management Console, right? Where you will find all the different type of services. So, let me start with the top side of this uh, console. Here you can see this is the list of services. Once you click on this icon, you will find list of services. Uh, all the services you can see the major category uh, with the subcategory like compute. So compute have EC2, light cell, lambda, elastic bin stock, serverless application, outpost, EC2, image builder, right? Same like storage, database, migration, transfer, networking and content delivery, developer tools, right? uh then many other services you will find like machine learning ar vr management and uh, governance services where you will find all the uh management based services then uh most important part which people are nowadays choose cloud platform to use this service that's called security and uh container right containers this is a uh area where uh, majority of people are using these resources and apart from that the devops services or you can say like code commit code build code deploy so these services are highly utilized from this platform where it is you will find it yes it's a developer tools right where you will find code star code commit code commit is like github you can say artifact build deploy right so these are the booming uh, services people are highly utilized on a cloud platform okay so from here you will find the list of services now next is a search box right so if you don't know how to find uh, that specific service and if you know about the name just type it for example ec2 just type you will find it right all the uh, or a keyword related to EC2, you will find the list of services, right? If you see the RDS, you will find it. Any any single uh, name, if you know about that service, right? You will find it, for example, ECSC, right? So from search box, you will search the services, features, and all the marketplace product as well as document too, right? Okay, then uh, this is a new feature. It's called cloud cell, right? So usually uh, those who are aware about the Google and Azure, they guys know about this cell is already available, right? So this is a recently launched feature, right? So you don't need to take uh, putty if you are using window operating system and you want to connect Linux server, you don't require it. You have to just click on it. It will create one uh, like cloud cell for you uh, based on your uh, specific region, right? So welcome to the AWS Cloud Cell. Cloud Cell is a browser-based cell that gives you the command line access to your AWS resources. Guys, the same thing you can do it with uh, help of, uh, if, you, uh, if you want to use it from your laptop or desktop, you have to download that specific uh, library in your machine, right? Uh, you have to install it and you have to uh, use it. Right? And if you don't want to do that, if you want to use it based on the browser, you can use this feature, right? Okay, then uh, next you have uh, notification, notification 
section here and you will find the if you have any kind of uh, notification related to open issues any kind of schedule changes right uh, and other kind of notification you will find it over here right then uh, this is the you can say like main section where you will find the user right it will help you to find out the account details right so this is uh, right I'm, I, I, this account is uh, not a root your account right uh, here i created one user and that identity is user one my root account name is top root so i have created this account specially to record this video all right then uh next one is uh, ohio right here you can see so what exactly this so guys you have to take care for this point when you open your account by default you all are in the northern virginia right you have to select your region according to your requirement for example you are from india and if you want to deploy or if you want to create your resources in india you have to select the asia specific region mumbai right so uh, it depends right based on your end user or based on the traffic you are serving right you are going to serve you have to select the region right so here you can see these are the list of different regions region for example, uh, you are hosting one website and the majority of users of that website are from Asia specific region. So you can choose one of this, right? Or you can say the certain users are from Asia specific and certain are from US. So you can, uh, same resources you can create on a, another region too. Okay. So this is all about the region right and apart from that region is a okay region is a geographical location i will show you the global infrastructure of aws so you will find more idea let me switch to the yes this one it's called infrastructure.aws guys see this is the uh, good animation right where you will see the list of the different regions right uh, you have to scroll down and you can check each and every single thing Right, but before that, I would like to show you the two-dimensional uh, architecture, or you can say infrastructure graph. Here you can see global infrastructure components. So the AWS infrastructure is designed and built to deliver the most flexible, reliable, scalable, and secure cloud computing environment. Right, with the highest quality global network performance available today. So here you can see this is the high level view of global infrastructure of AWS platform. So guys, as I told you, you have to select at least one region. Okay. So for example, here you can see I choose Ohio, right? So this is the Ohio region. In this Ohio region, you can see these are the three availability zone. Once you click on this, you can see the, what is the region, right? So region is a geographical location. Here you can see AWS provide a more extensive global footprint than any other cloud provider okay and it open up a new region faster than other provider right so aws region uh, provide full redundancy and connectivity to the network so here you can see this is the region each region have at least two availability zone at least two right so here you can see this is the one example uh, which is having one region having the three availability zone right each availability zone have a data centers, right? And in this data center, your resources are going to create, okay? And here you can see this data center directly connected with the user, maybe directly connected with the devices or directly connected with the POP. It's called point of uh, presence, right? So here you can see this is the data center where your actual resources are going to create, right? And this is the POP right each specific data center also have a point of presence or you can say like uh, cdn content delivery network point age locations you can also say that so here you can see what is the, the point of presence so with amazon cloudfront aws operates the largest global content delivery network right so guys every time you don't need to go to the main data center it will serve from this age location right so you will also learn this once you gradually perform these all steps so this is a high level view so every time uh, you have to select the region first you have to take care of it if for example if you create resources in india or in asia specific region you will not find it the same resources in uh, created resources from other region 
right so in that case you have to take care about your location see if you are right now you deploy one website in ohio region and once next time you logged in and you are in india you will not find that website over here right so in that case you have to go back to your specific region then and then you will find your resources okay so this is all about the global infrastructure you have to take care of it right so again i am going to repeat every time you have to select region each region have a three at least two ability zone at least minimum two ability zones right and each ability zone have data centers and that data centers is having all the resources which you are looking for okay so this is all about the introduction part of console right now uh, i would like to show you the billing part right i i already open right so here you can see uh, once you start using your aws platform you also have to take care about the cost no doubt initially aws provide free tier access right but that is again limited with limited resources right if you want to check eligibility so here you can see how many hours they are giving you amazon ec2 70 750 hours s3 with having storage capacity 5 cb databases having amazon rds 750 hours right free tier eligibility and they are give you the 12 month free right but not all the resources see what your free resources you are eligible everything you will find it over here right so these all are the free services you can use it okay and according to your requirement you can select it and you will find it the list of the free services okay so you have to take care of it but again again once you are completely used your free tier you will be charged okay and how you can track so based on the services you are utilized you will find it over here this billing service is a global service here see all the regions are disabled so many services on a cloud are a global service where you don't require to select the regions okay so here you can see billing service is a completely global service so all the regions are disabled and here you can see i have uh, in the last one month i play with this list of services right so those who are eligible in under the free tier category they won't charge me right so here you can see it is completely zero see amplify in a northern virginia if you use the same services in a different region you will find the amplify with all the list of different regions over here okay let me go ahead with uh, ec2 which i use in a different region c right so there are two regions asia specific regions and northern virginia regions and i have uh, two different charges over there right so you have to check the cost over here right and you have to pay it on a monthly basis right so if you have a credit you can go to the credit sections and you can check it right or from order and invoice category you will find the list of uh, your previous orders and invoices right the cost explorer section is also there right then budget right so at this all list of services i will explain but at the first step you have to take care of your cost and you can check it with the help of bill service okay so student you have to take care of this specific uh, uh, point when you start first time with aws console okay many time you have a specific access on aws account then you will uh, uh, see your display with the red notification it means you are restricted uh, you you cannot access that service admin already uh, give you the limited access so you are not eligible to explore that okay second thing if you will receive in a warning message it's okay you can uh, avoid them right sometime you can avoid that but in a restriction you will find it a red notification okay so this is all about the aws uh, console when you start it with the first time you have to uh, take care of it okay so in next video i will show you the first demo how to deploy the website on a s3 and how to deploy website on a ec2 with a very simple thing and gradually i will add the uh, complex architecture and you will learn the detail of uh, uh, aws hands-on 
stuff. Thank you.